artificial intelligence will be arriving at your job site. Could we be making another huge leap in the use of concrete with the introduction of artificial intelligence to the mix? Concrete is the most widely used building material in the world and the second most used substance after water. Its usage worldwide, ton for ton, is twice that of steel, wood, plastics, and aluminum combined. Concrete floors were found in the royal palace of Tiryns, Greece, which dates roughly to 1400 to 1200 BC. Concrete, as the Romans knew it, was a new and revolutionary material. The Romans used concrete extensively. The Colosseum in Rome was built largely of concrete, and the Pantheon has the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. Roman concrete is significantly more resistant to erosion by seawater than modern concrete. The long-term durability is due to the use of pyroclastic or volcanic rock and ash. Concrete enabled revolutionary new designs in terms of both structural complexity and dimension. But perhaps the greatest step forward in the modern use of concrete was Smeaton's Tower built by British engineer John Smeaton in Devon, England, where the use of hydraulic lime in concrete, pebbles, and powdered brick as aggregate was pioneered. Reinforced concrete was invented in 1849 by Joseph Manier. Concrete is one of the most widely used materials in the world, with global production reaching over 10 billion tons per year. However, the manufacturing process for concrete is highly energy intensive and generates up to 8% of all made carbon emissions. I have information released at World of Concrete for 2023 from the wall. It seems they formed a strategic alliance with a company that's at the forefront of AI and want you to integrate it into your workflow. Here's their official statement. Converge, a leading concrete material and operation optimization company, and DeWalt, a leader in total job site solutions, today announced a strategic partnership to help decarbonize construction through Co Converge's revolutionary AI-based platform. Concrete DNA, powered by data from DeWalt's new wireless concrete sensor, the DeWalt Signal Sensor, allowing users to observe comprehensive strength of concrete and to predict when it will reach critical strength through advanced AI and local weather data. This allows concrete professionals to begin work sooner as users can directly measure hardening rather than relying on estimation and in addition to tailor the exact amount of cement needed in the mixture which helps reduce unnecessary carbon emissions. With deep insight into the strength of the material, lower embodied carbon concrete mixes can be produced without sacrificing performance or safety to meet job site deadlines. Converge is a construction technology company founded by Raphael Sheps and Gideon Farrell, headquartered in London, UK. Converge is building AI-based technologies and realty capture devices to optimize and decarbonize the materials and operations of construction in order to make more efficient, safe, and sustainable. Here's my takeaway. I like the concrete DNA features that give you data and critical strength, and most of all, the part that allows concrete professionals to begin work sooner as users can directly measure hardening rather than relying on estimation. But does adding AI to concrete bring labor waste down overall, or will this technology bring costs up? I might not mind paying more, but for what benefit? If it's to reduce carbon emissions, it gets a little murky. I mean, how did reducing carbon become the focus of so many? Now, I appreciate you all for taking some time to contemplate this with me, and I hope to see you on the next video. But if you want to see another huge DeWalt development in recent days, don't miss this next video.